Hello, kings and queens. Welcome back to another day of math class. Uh, in today's lesson, we'll be talking about samples and populations. By the end of today's lesson, you should be able to define and distinguish between samples and populations. To get us still started, we're going to go ahead and recite our cl class affirmation. Today, I will do my best to be my best. What I do today will make a difference in my life. My choices will affect me and those around me. I will listen, I will be honest, I will respect the rights of others. I will learn something today because today matters and my future is built on one now at a time. Uh, so samples, um, before we get started, I would suggest that you all grab a um, piece of paper as well as a pen uh, and just jot down a few of these notes and definitions that we're going through. They'll be particularly useful as you're working through the exit ticket um, and through your independent work um, post on Google Classroom afterwards. Um, so samples. A sample is a subset of an entire group. Okay, so it's part of an entire group. It refers to a portion of the group with specific characteristics. So again, words that stick out are portion or part. Data collected from the sample is called the sample statistic. Okay, so two really key vocabulary words they need us to hone in on. Uh, the idea of a subset or a part is important and also understanding what a sample statistic is is important as well. Um, some examples of samples that we might encounter could be vowels in the alphabet, right? They are parts or a subset of the entire alphabet. Um, another one that we see um, in our school context is seventh graders in a middle school, right? So seventh graders are part of the whole middle school. They're a subset of the entire middle school. Okay, so that kind of gives us an overview of what samples are. Parts of olds. Populations, on the other hand, um, are a little bit different. Um, a population, kind of think of it as the entire group. Okay, so when collecting data, the population refers to the entire group. Data collected from the entire population is called the population statistic. Examples that we can refer to um, would be the entire alphabet. So the whole alphabet, A through Z. Um, another example of a population would be all students at a middle school. So before we had vowels in the alphabet and seventh graders in a middle school, this time we have everyone included in those groups of interest, okay? So think sample, part, population, whole. Um, this is a particularly helpful um, graphic that I think might help cement the idea as well. Population, think Everyone, a sample is just parts of the whole group um, kind of combined in this little sample, okay? So population whole, sample part. Um, so we have a little activity here that I'm gonna guide you guys through. Um, we're gonna kind of be, we're going to be defining the relationship uh, between samples and populations, okay? Trying to distinguish it too as well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start us off. This is gonna be the, demo, the demonstration slide. The first thing I want to do here is I want to look at all these little boxes and I want to try to figure out what variables are connected to each other, okay? So I might hear um, a specific box talking about a specific item. I'm going to see which ones I think are connected. I know that was kind of vague, but I think when you guys see me do the example, it might start to make sense. Um, so I'm just going to draw some arrows connecting them. Uh, one that sticks out to me here is seniors at Overbrook and seniors who take, who take SEPTA at Overbrook. These two items seem to be pretty closely connected. So what I'm going to do is just draw an arrow between them. I think these two items are related, so I'm just going to connect them in this way. Um, another one that kind of sticks out to me would be people living in South Philly and elderly people living in South Philly. I think those two items are connected in some type of way, right? And the last one would be families with one child and families with children. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a little arrow here, connecting these variables, okay? I want you guys to follow along this process because I'm gonna be asking you to do something similar in the next slide, okay? So I know that these items are somehow connected. What I'm gonna to try to do now is distinguish and figure out which one is the sample and which one is the population, okay? So let's just take a look at this example over here. 
seniors at Overbrook and seniors who take SEPTA at Overbrook. Which one do you think represents the sample and which one do you think represents the population? Again, a reminder, a sample would be a part of the group, whereas the population would be the whole group. Yeah, I would agree. Um, what I would say, I'm gonna put a P right here for population and an S right here for sample. So what we're saying here is that the population would be seniors at Overbrook. That's the whole group, right? All the seniors at Overbrook. Whereas a sample would be seniors who took SEPTA or who take SEPTA at Overbrook, right? They are a part, just a part of the whole group, okay? So this could be an example of distinguishing uh, between samples and populations. Let's take a look at another one of these examples uh, and see if we can kind of do something similar, okay? So over here, we have families with only one child and families with children. Take a minute to determine uh, which one you think will be the sample and which one you think will be the population. Or which one do you think will be the part and which one do you think will be the whole? Yeah, I would agree. I would say this represents the population. And this represents the sample. So the population would be families that have kids, period. Uh, the sample would be families that only have one child because there could be families that have two children, three children, so on and so forth. So again, whole group, part of the group. And the last one over here, we have people living in South Philly and elderly people living in South Philly. Which item do you think represents the population and which item do you think represents the sample? Yeah, so the population would be the whole group. In this case, everyone or people living in South Philly. Whereas the sample would be just elderly people living in South Philly, right? So again, just an example of how we would distinguish samples and populations, okay? All righty. Let's go ahead and try to actually practice on our own now. Just give me one second to get the annotations gone, y'all. Okay, so for this slide, I want you guys to go ahead and press pause on the screen. Uh, and I want you to try to do exactly what I did before. Uh, connect the variables or the items that you think are related, and then identify which one is a sample and which one is a population, okay? Um, again, please press pause on the screen. Uh, complete that task, and then once you are done, you can press resume Will you'll see me go through some of the solutions. Okay, so for those of us who are back with me, uh, let's go ahead and start by connecting the variables of interest. Uh, I see one that sticks out to me right now, kids who play basketball at the YMCA and kids who go to the YMCA. So I'm gonna draw an arrow, probably a better one, let me do another one. Connecting those two items, okay? Another one I have is scholars in Mr. E's math class and seventh graders in Mr. E's math class. Those are related, so I'm going to go ahead and connect them. And then I have students who received all A's last trimester and students who made AB honor roll last trimester. Okay. So these items over here are connected, okay? Um, now let's go ahead and identify which ones would be the samples and which ones would be the populations. So we'll start with this example over here. Um, I have scholars in Mr. E's math class and seventh graders in Mr. E's math class. Which one do you think represents the whole population? Yeah, all kids in my class would be the population. Whereas just seventh graders, that would be a part of the whole, so that would be the sample. Moving on to this one, I have kids who play basketball at the YMCA and kids who go to the YMCA. Which one do you think would be the part? Or which one do you think would be the whole? That would correspond to sample and population. Yeah, so P would be, or the population would, go to, would be kids who go to the YMCA and kids who play basketball at the YMCA would be the sample or the part of the whole. Which leads me with my last item over here. 
students who received all A's last trimester and students who made A, B honor roll last trimester. This group would be a part of this group. So we would call that the sample. In other words, they're, the sub, they're a subset of this group and this would be the population, okay? So this is an example of how we would define and distinguish between samples and populations.